The African Americans have always been a cattle people, even before the Europeans landed at Plymouth Rock. Many of the tribes in Africa raised cattle. When they came here as slaves, taking care of cattle and tending cattle was kind of like a, in our DNA. The story of the black cowboy dates back to the open plains of America's early 1800s. It's a story of heroics, adventure, and resilience that's gone untold for generations. In fact, when you think back on the legendary cowboys who settled the West, you might immediately think about the frontier favorites like the 1950s show, The Lone Ranger. When they first had The Lone Ranger on, on the radio, they were talking about a black man. And people called into that radio station saying, hey, who, what, who is The Lone Ranger? The guy said, oh, it was a black man. People said he's black. They turned it off. And they called in saying they weren't going to listen to his radio station anymore. And the man said, why? He said, because you said the Lone Ranger was a black man. He said, no, 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 no. No, I didn't say he was a black man. I say he wore a black mask. So they went on with the Lone Ranger on radio. And then when they put him on TV, he had to be a white man because they wasn't going to accept him on TV as a black man. So he was a white man with a black man. I am a Lone Ranger. Larry Callis was a musician and the second black cowboy to make it into an all-white Texas high school rodeo. George Strait's manager was my manager. Clint Black's band was my band. After a vocal injury ended his career as a country music singer, he devoted himself to honoring the unknown trailblazers of American history as the founder and curator of the Black Cowboy Museum in Rosenberg, Texas. I'm Christian first and my cowboy second. I know when God closes one big door, he opens up a big one. And he's opened this museum wide open for me. He says history and Hollywood tell different tales about the first cowboys. Well, the word cowboy came from slaves. Back in 1821, they said, hey boy, go get that cow. And they had a house boy, a yard boy. And somebody worked the cows, he was called a cowboy. Stories of progress from the Civil War in the 1860s to the Civil Rights Movement 100 years later are now emerging in theatrical reenactments and breathtaking museum exhibitions. The black cowboy story is one that we've really wanted to tell for a long time. Black Cowboys, the American story, is a, is a dramatic story. It tells a story in many ways of enslaved people who became emancipated, and as they became emancipated, um, with their extraordinary skills in animal husbandry, training horses, understanding, herding, that they were catapulted as the lead cowboys on massive trails from, uh, from Texas all the way up into the Americas, into North America. Many children have grown up without understanding the importance of black cowboys. We are providing a story that hasn't been told. The only way to understand the future of Texas is to understand the past. Both people, my father and Dr. King, both inspired me more than anything else in the world. When Dr. King made that speech, and integration was over in 64. I knew then that I had a chance to do what I wanted to do in rodeoing if they would let me get in. My first high school rodeo was in 1967. I was the only black at the high school finals. Tex Williams is featured in the Witty Museum's exhibit, Black Cowboys, an American Story. He's listed alongside other living legends like former SA rodeo bullfighter Leon Coffey, and his cousin, Larry Callis. Williams was the first black cowboy to enter and win an all-white Texas high school rodeo. He says even after graduating with a golden buckle and enlisting in the military to serve his country, the prejudice continued, and he was denied access to rodeo competitions simply because of the color of his skin. The guy told me they had had trouble with blacks before, and I told him, I said, you know, all you had to do was let me ride this horse. I'm on my way to Vietnam, and I'm supposed to be helping my country and y'all won't let me get on a horse before I leave? I said, that's kind of silly. My father, you know, he said, son, it's just not your time. But when your time comes around, don't give up. It wouldn't be long after those days that Williams' time would come and he would stack up the gold as a champion in multiple rodeo events. Next month, 
he'll be inducted into the Black Cowboy Museum alongside the men and women who blazed the trail for him. There are a lot of black that did good that we never knew anything about. He celebrates knowing that the next generation can stand on the shoulders of breakthrough stories like his as blacks continue to ride for the gold. It's come a long way, but it's gonna take a while. We tried to be the example that they can follow. As long as you hang in there and do your best, success will come.